It's on right. Uh, question six. Find the binomial expansion of x cubed is 2 over x squared to the 4. Well, lots of you showed quite good confidence with this and went straight into it. I, and maybe if I'm being extra careful, I might have done that first and said it's a to the 4 plus well, a power of 4. We could probably just do it from Pascal's triangle, couldn't we? You know, we could do a little uh, sketch out Pascal's triangle. The next row is the one that matters, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, there it is. So that's 4 a cubed b plus 6 a squared b squared. That's 4 a b cubed plus b plus 4. So in, the, in terms of what we're dealing with, then a is x cubed. B is 2 over x squared. <laughs> and so we're going to put all these in here. I'm going to go into another line for this. It's a lot of writing, isn't it? <laughs> and this is the bit where we're going to be careful with our powers. So what have we got? got x cubed to the 4. Now, that one, you do multiply the powers, don't you? That's x to the 12. Here we've got, now, really, really careful, we've got 4 times 2. We've got an 8. We've got x cubed cubed. Can I do this all in one go, or do we need to do another stage for this? x cubed cubed would be x to the 9. Well, we're dividing it by x squared. So we subtract the powers, so that gives us an x to the 7 out of that. Now, this is where we made a mistake, some of us, and it happens every single time. It's that the most common mistake in these is when there's a, there's a number in here somewhere, and we forget that the number's part of the thing that we are squaring or cubing or whatever. So here, this, where is it, this 2, isn't 2, it's 2 squared, it's 4. So this is 6 times 4, so 24. And then we've got x cubed squared, so x to the 6. And this is x squared squared. So that's x to the 6 over x to the 4. And 6 to 8, 4 is 2. So we have 24x squared out of that. And so it goes on. We've got, again, easy to make a mistake. 2 cubed is an 8 times that 4, so this is a 32 in here. Actually, by now, we can almost just get away with having spotted the pattern that's going on and knowing what the next power is going to be because of the pattern that's there. But we'll, we'll check it anyway. We've got x cubed and we're dividing by x squared cubed, so that's dividing by x to the 6. 3 take away 6 is minus 3, so we've got x to the minus 3. And the final one, we've got 2 to the 4, so that now is 16. And we've got x squared to the 4, so it's x to the 8, but it's on the bottom of our fraction, so it's x to the minus 8. And you see how you've got that check in there as well, haven't you? That our powers are going down by 5 each time. That? So we've got to check that, that we're doing it. Great. So that was that. Um, of course, if you wrote this is 32 over x cubed and this is 16 over x to the 8, that's perfectly fine. That's, of course, that's right. Um, then it said, hence find the integral of this thing that we're looking for. So, part two, to integrate this, Right, well this, this is, this is, hence, so it's integrating our answers. And they did give method marks and follow through marks for doing this. So as long as you've done this right, or as long as, no, as, long as you, you've got something here, you were going to get marks for doing this. So as we, as we integrate it, well as long as it was something that was recognisably 
a reasonable attempt at a binomial expansion. It had to have at least three terms, I think, in order for you to get any method marks for doing it. So we add one to the power and divide by the new power. Add one to the power and divide by the new power. The eight's going to cancel out now, isn't it? So that's x to the eight. Add one to the power makes it x cubed. 24 over 3 is 8. Add 1 to the power, being careful because it's negative and you know, we don't go the wrong way, makes that a minus 2. So 32 divided by minus 2 is minus 16. X is minus 2. I'm going to go the line. Add 1 to the power is minus 7. So that's minus 16 over 7. X to minus 7. And the question was out of... Nine. Uh, I've, I've worked really hard here and I've done well and I've scored eight out of nine. Why have I only scored eight out of nine? Because six. 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 There we go. And it's, it's one of those bizarre things that's worth looking out for. But um, you've got a method mark for attempting integration from some reasonable thing from at least three terms that you've done in that part. So that was a method mark. You are, you've got an a error carried forward mark for a, at least three correct terms following that. So if you'd integrated three things correctly, you've got a second mark. Now the A mark for this you lost if you've got that part wrong. So at this point, you had to have exactly the right answer for the third mark. But the fourth mark was just for writing plus C and not including the integral sign or dx in your final answer. And it only depended on you attempting integration. So if you got that, that first attempt integration mark, even if it was a load of rubbish, if you properly attempted integration and you'd remember to put plus C and lose the integral sign of dx, then you got the fourth mark. Um, really important, I, I don't think any of you did it, but you've got to remember, once you integrate, you don't write the curly integral sign and you don't write dx. As soon as you integrate, you mustn't write that anymore because we will lose marks. And that's maths.